everyone, this is uh, SDF1, and this is, is going to be Retro View, not to be confused with uh, Infinite Retro's Retro View. This is gaming on older consoles and what made those games so great. Now, the game I'm playing right now is called Champions Return to Arms. This is actually a uh, sequel to Champions of Norath, Realms of EverQuest. This is a branching uh, series from the EverQuest series, and it was very popular back in its day, and I'd say, you know what, it should, it should still be popular. I mean, EverQuest 2, I think is the current game out right now, is still being played a lot by people. I haven't looked on the online since I don't play that game, I don't game that much on PC, so I wouldn't rightly know, but I do know that EverQuest had a huge following back in its day. So got like a huge a large list of different races of characters male and female for some what made this game so popular was that it was dungeon crawling at its finest it was it had the graphics it had the the really smooth frame rate the game runs at like 60 frames per second the graphics are really good for their time exceptionally good for their time actually and it had the whole item organizing and all this, the spell casting that you could possibly ask for. It was all around a great game. So, I actually found my copy of Champions Return to Arms at EB Games in a used bin for about 99 cents. That's I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I bought it. And as you can see, I'm currently selecting the race for my characters. You saw all the, the lizard guys, the tigers, you see the humans. So I decided to go with this guy here. Um, looking through the different skin patterns you can give him. Decided to stick with the default. Went for a, Went looking through the hairstyles there too. Trying to see which one was suitable for my style. I decided to go with this one. Hair color. I didn't want to look blonde, so I just went middle. Facial hair, I thought I'd take a look at the facial hair. It's, it's, like all these little miniature customizations. It's not as extensive as something like Oblivion or Skyrim, but it's good enough considering that you got a large rate of cast of characters. And right off the bat, you can choose what you want their strengths and weaknesses to be. Well, perfectly strengths, like where are the strongest. Then you can give them a name. I, you know, I chose to give them my middle name. <laughs> I'm like, why not just give him my middle name, James? Seems like a simple name, yet... Yeah. And I think in this game, humans are more of the tanks, or like the heavy hitters in the game. They're, they're the kind of guys who can take lots of damage, they can dish out lots of damage, but at the same time, they're not really masters of any specific craft like spell casting or anything like that. So here we are. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Welcome, brave soul. Your presence inspires yeah, hope in the, the hearts of gods and men game. alike. Damn it, is she For hot? once again, the planes of power have come under siege. You must perfect your skills with sword and lance. Battle trumpets sounded as our courageous knights stormed the plain of war. The bodies of our enemy lay scattered across the forgotten battleground. Yeah. The palace of Ralosek drew near, but then, just when victory would be ours, we like were met by an unspeakable sort of a... new power. Many have perished. Hmm. Our armies are in disarray. Will you lend us your heart, your hand, and your sword? The deaths of thousands will be avenged by your victory. Is that a proposal? If there are potions you seek, <laughs> or arrows to fill your quiver, our traders can provide them, for a modest fee, of course. When you have all that you need, you may pass through the portal behind me and into the plain of war. Well, that was quite the proposal. So here we are, we can look at our, <coughs> excuse me, we can look at our weapons, uh, potions, I probably didn't take a, as deep a look into this little store thing as I should have. The, guys are, the guy I have, I'm using is already has an axe of his own, so 
and I didn't have that much gold to begin with, so I figured I'd just get one little potion. Lo and behold, that potion used up most of my gold. And as you can see, the game runs extremely smooth. Just testing out some moves. Um, yeah, I mean, graphically, the, the graphics in this game look really good. As PS2 games go, you wouldn't expect a game to look quite this good. And I guess this is the realm that I'm going to enter. Um, some battle-torn area. Ah, looks almost like the Plains of Pelennor from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but uh, performance-wise, the game runs at a solid 60 frames per second, and the visuals, at the same time, the visuals are extremely good. Plus, the game has online ability, online connectivity as well, but I didn't really delve too deep into that, seeing as how I haven't got a router or a modem in my room, so... So just for reference, those are not wolves you see, those are actually goblins running on all fours, and again, you can see some really solid performance there. Here we go. Suit over here. Save point. That's right, you better stay down. You better stay down. Alright, what's this big warp thing here? Oh, it's a save point. Better save. It's always a smart idea to save. Ooh. Okay then, let's head over. What's what's over here? Nothing? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, more goblins. More goblins! Die, you sins against nature. Ooh, he dropped something. Sweet. Now, I like the impact and the, the swing of that, of that axe. You can hear it swings it. You can hear the impact on the on the axe. You can really hear the impact on the enemies there. So let's over here. Over here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big one. Holy crap! What hole did you crawl out of? Okay then. Let's see. Is there any way for me to? I don't want to use that. Look around the character there. There. Now, how do I use the health potion? I can't equip it, so how the heck do I use it? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to figure that out later. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I know it might have something to do with this wheel here. certainly use a health potion. Oh, looks like I dropped it. Okay, I don't want to do that. You know what? Screw it. I'll just go Rambo style. We'll see what happens. Oh, some barrels. That's another nice thing about these games. There's no shortage of barrels to break open and take all their stuff. Who is this hot Welcome chick? Welcome to the Plane of War, champion of Firiona V. Tell me, what riches does the servant of Tunare offer for such blind allegiance? What power of your own may you reap? <laughs> uh. None. You're nothing more than a pawn. A marionette on a string. Well, aren't you very Perhaps nice? Perhaps there is a more, shall we say, profitable choice. Profitable, Heed you Heed my words, brave warrior. Renounce your vow to that pompous wench and join the forces of darkness. Together we shall resurrect the Prince of Hate and rule the world! 
No, I don't think that's gonna be a good option for me, so... I'll... The forces of light grow weaker by the hour. Soon we will overwhelm them. Your only chance for victory is to fight alongside us. Too bad you will not live long enough to regret your foolish choice. The Forgotten Battleground is calling you. Yeah, my bedroom's calling you, bitch. <laughs> Let's get this door open. Oh, seems easy enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, what's... Yeah. Oh yeah, level up. Oh yeah, let's add some... What would we get, like three points, I guess? Blunt weapons, slash weapon. I'm pretty sure an axe is a slashing weapon. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Here we go. Let's... Ah, there we go. So there's the stats for the weapon upgrades. The leveling system on here is pretty good, I can say that much. Alright. Whoa! God, you guys come at you like the Zerg from StarCraft. Let's see. Ah, there's more of them. Oh, die, you motherfuckers. Ah, they're coming at me like Zerglings here. Get away! Okay, die. Die. Jeez, I'm low on health. I can certainly use a potion. <sighs> okay. Let's see, where are we? Oh, another one. I love how it, that strike just knocks them right back on their ass. If only I could figure out how to use the potions. Yeah, let's get a helmet on. We could use a little more protection there. Uh... I'm pretty sure the one I picked up will be a little stronger. Put that on. Just let's see. Is this a pound? Okay, let's see here. Oh, what the hell? Holy crap! She frosted me. Well, let's see. She, I don't know what the thing it was, but she gave me some chills and brought my health down really low. Yeah, we should probably save. So even with all these effects and whatnot taking place on screen, still a solid 60 frames per second. I mean, not bad for a 6th generation console. Now this is getting a little tense. I really need a potion. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to end the commentary here for now, but uh, you guys go ahead and keep watching, and let me know in the comments what you think, and if tell me if you want to see any more uh, of some old retro PS2 games. I got no shortage of them, I got about 100, 110 PS2 games in my collection right now, so let me know if you'd like to see more, and I will post some more gameplay videos. Till then, see you guys later.